Hey everybody, so I've got something pretty cool for you today. I was on my Twitter account and I noticed that Kali Yuga had posted this watercolor disco diffusion notebook that gives the images it generates the appearance of being created with watercolor paint. So I just thought I would share this with you and there is a link down there below in the description. And right now I'm currently just using my free account and we're just going to test it out with the default modes and then I'm going to adjust the settings a little bit here. Okay, so I just thought I'd jump in here about halfway through just to kind of look at the diffusion process here. And you can see I already have some really cool kind of watercolor looking colors here. I really like this color palette too. And it definitely has a watercolor look to it. So this looks like this is going to be a really cool notebook. And I'm actually kind of excited about maybe making an animation with it to see what that would look like too. Okay, and so here is the first render, and this is mostly just with the default settings. So I think now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to maybe turn the resolution up and we'll go do a second render and we'll see what that one looks like. Okay, and here is my next prompt. You can see this really does a good job of capturing that watercolor color aesthetic, so that's great. And they also said um, you can add, try adding watercolor to the prompt. So let's go ahead and try that too as well. Okay, and so for this one, I just added a watercolor to the prompt. So this is a watercolor painting of a castle in a fantasy landscape. And it looks nice. I'm going to go do one more and try to add a little more detail here with the models, maybe turning the res up a little bit. Okay, and here's the last render with the prompt. I did actually add a couple models too, and I really like the way the sky looks. Now, I do have some white spots in this one. This is my fault. This is just because my memory got a little high. So I'm going to do one more here. I'm going to use a different prompt this time, and I'm going to shut off one of the models and see if we can get a, a good render here for our last one. Okay, and so for this final render here, what I did was I just turned on the very first model the VIT B32, and then the third one, the VIT L14, which I think is one of the best models in there. And I turned the resolution down a little bit, so I was using less memory. You can see I still was up there close to the red, but I got a much better render this time without a lot of white spots, and I really like this notebook. So thank you, Kali Yuga, for making this, and I put a link down there below it, both to the Google Colab site where you can get it, and to the GitHub site as well, where it's discussed a bit. And if you try it out, you know, post your links down in the comments and show what you've made with it. I'm going to continue experimenting with this. Like right now, this isn't really a tutorial on it. I don't really know much about it. This just came out literally like I think five hours ago. So I, I'm just posting this as an update basically so that you guys can go and grab this if you want to use it. It's a, It looks like a great notebook, especially, you know, if you've wanted something that can do more kind of painterly watercolor based effects. This is the notebook to get. So thank you for watching, and again, thank you very much for making this notebook. That's what's great about Disco Diffusion. You know, people are always contributing and adding new things and mods. So thanks for making this, Kali Yuga, and I've got a link down below where you can go and grab this. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back soon with more videos.